All right, everyone. Hey, this is Rick Kaufman with your Linked Up Project Inner Circle. And this is why we are a part of the Inner Circle. We're going to be sharing some pro tips with you. I mean, what we want to do is take what we do on a day-to-day -day basis and condense it down, condense time, so that we can do this for, say, 30 minutes at a time, okay? And I think that's why it's important for us to do these things. But... You know, we have, we build out our group page. We've built it out here. And this is where the fun starts. This is where, you know, we've got some content in here. We have a pinned post and where we're welcoming people. And we are, you know, putting things, you know, you know we, we build up a little bit of content. So when somebody comes in, they've got something to look at. Okay, uh, we may have some trainings. We may have some other types of things that it's important. But so this is where the rubber meets the road, where the fun really starts, and this is where we start to invite people to our group. Um, you know, obviously we can click right down here. You'll see suggested members. These are people that are part of your friends list. Okay, these are people that you're friends with on Facebook, and you can invite them if they if 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 they would be a fit for your group, okay? Um, another way you can do this would be to uh, just type in the first letter, A, for example. This will turn around and show everybody that has a letter A, and then you would, could go B, okay, and then C, and then D, okay, and then maybe E, and all the way up through Z. Okay, this would be an example, and then you can go through this. All right. Um, now here's here's a tip. Okay, here's a tip for you. Uh, if you've done your database build, okay, so we build our group, we've got everything set up, we've got some content, and now we've been doing our database build. So we've downloaded our database into our linked up project tracking sheet. So we have our tracking sheet here. Okay. Okay, um, as you can see, we have email addresses, and but we also have names of people. Okay, so we have names of people here in our in our tracking sheet that we're currently working or have been working that these these lists. Okay, so part of this is we can go through and look for if we're friends, um, we can go look for people. If that way, we can make sure that we are bringing the right people into our group. Okay, so if we have, in this case, we have the water safety revolution. So when all these people are aquatics people, they would all be a fit for my group, but I'm not friends with Facebook on these people. So this is where this can become very, very powerful. Um, and uh, we'll come back to this here in just one moment. But this is the beauty of this here. We can, we can put in here an email address. So I'm going to put in my email address. This is my personal email. Okay. And we can click send. And this will send us off a personal email. This will send an email uh, inviting this person. Okay. Let me um, let's see here. Well, while we're waiting on that email to show up in my inbox... Let me go here and show you why this works so well. Okay, you see these email addresses here. These are email addresses of people. Most likely, they're probably on Facebook. They are on, and, and Facebook's the largest platform out there. So we can just real simply just come in here and copy and paste, okay, and copy and paste somebody and put them right into, you know, into here and we can hit enter and invite this person, okay? We can invite this person, and what they would get, okay, what they would get would be, let me go here. So, anyways, up oh, there it is. So, for example, Richard Coppin invited you to join Let's Start a Water Safety Revolution, okay? This is the beauty of this here. So, first of all, it shows us it's coming from, Invited you to join Water Safety Revolution, and it's to this here. It's a no reply email, so um, it'll it'll show up in their inbox. Um, most likely, it's not going to be marked as spam. So this is the real cool tricks here. So uh, this can cause more people to connect with you on Facebook and send you a friend request. Okay. This is why it was so important when we talked about profiles and some of the previous trainings, we're talking about setting up our profile page, why this is important because here you have, um, here you have the profile 
for, uh, let me go here for me, let's see. Um, so if these people happen to be connected with me on LinkedIn, as you, know, as you can see, there's, you know, uh, the profiles are, are very similar, the same. So from that standpoint, it, you know, the, the recognition, the branding, the recognition is there. So the likelihood they will connect with you, okay, goes up. But here's, here's, here's the thing I want to point out to you. Let me go back to my email. So also, this will show here. We can click the tab, open up in a two tab, and it will take us to the water safety page that we have here, okay? It will take them to here so they can actually kind of view the page, see, well, you know, it is a closed group. So they can't necessarily see all the posts. They have to join, but they'll see the, the tab to join. But at the same time, they can also click right here to join the group. Okay. Um, Facebook typically is a much more engaging group. People will engage with the content a lot more. They will post comments. They will actually um, – it's, it's much more of a community-minded um, place uh, versus, say, a LinkedIn. But you have to understand, too, that um, – if if these are your LinkedIn prospects and these people are very prof they're professional people, so it's important to make sure that you have those groups, you know, tied in so they're they're similar, they're the same, they're you know people's you know they understand, uh, you know in this case in my water safety group I'm posting the same content here, you know what I post in this group here is the same that I post in my LinkedIn LinkedIn group, so not a lot of difference there, so they can see that content, you know it'll show up twice in their new feed. Um, people are on Facebook a lot more and much more apt to engage with the content, so it's a great resource, great tool to you know look at inviting people, so um, use that, <laughs> use use it for sure. So. Uh, um, with that being said, uh, guys, you know, it's a great source. It's a great way to just, again, driving that content and driving that, you know, those people so they can see your information and keep you uh, top of mind and utilizing a group and building an engaging group. And then you can begin to find out where these people are engaging a lot more. If they're engaging more on LinkedIn, then you're spending more time there on LinkedIn. If they're engaging more on Facebook, uh, you spend more time with relevant content in your Facebook group. So, um, guys, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep following the training, and we will see you in the next training.